I've been editing my own YouTube videos and short films since 2019. During that time, one of the key things I've learned is that as long as you're willing to sit down and learn the software that's available to you, you will find that the vast majority of them will most likely let you make the content that you want to make. So in this video, I want to take a few minutes and compare my two favorite editing softwares that I've used this year, HitFilm and Shotcut, and see which one is better. Hello and welcome to my channel where we talk all things movie and video editing related. If you find this video informative, then please be sure to hit the thumbs up button, and if you use either software that's mentioned in this video, let me know in the comments which one you prefer and what your favorite thing about them is. Now before we get any further, I want to preface that this video is simply based off of my own opinion and my own experience with them. The purpose of this video is simply to go over their strengths and weaknesses and which one I'd be more likely to recommend to someone. Now without further ado, let's get into it. The first editing software that we're going to talk about is HitFilm. This is available on Mac and Windows, and right off the bat, one of the things that it includes that I wish more editing softwares did is a list of tutorials that can help you learn how to use it as you're practicing. In the past, when I've been trying to learn a new editing software, I'll usually be practicing with it while having a tutorial from YouTube playing in the background. So I think having a list of built-in tutorials not only is great for people learning the software, but it's also great for people who are new to editing in general. And the tools that it offers you not only help you learn the basics, but also make learn how to use it simple and easy as well. And in terms of how it runs, I've experienced little to no lag with it, though it has crashed on me a handful of times. And now that that's all the way, I want to transition to talking about the things that I either don't like about it, or I think people should keep in mind if they do choose to pick it up. The first thing is that when you open it for the first time, you're going to have to log in with an account you make for HitFilm. Not a deal breaker, obviously, but that is something you should keep in mind. What I do personally think is a deal breaker are the subscription plans that they offer for it. Because while there is a free version that has a lot of great tools and features people can use and can learn, you are limited to a 1080p resolution. If you're looking to export in a higher resolution or you want to use some more advanced features, you're going to have to pay money for it. Now, don't get me wrong. I still think this is a great software, especially for people who are new to editing. And 1080p is a good resolution for YouTube videos specifically. But I do nevertheless think that paying money to export to a higher resolution is just stupid. And this brings us to the second edited software we're going to talk about in today's video, which is Shotcut. This is an open source, free video editing software that is available on Mac, Windows, and Linux, which means you don't have to log into it and you don't have to pay money to use features. And when you download it, you not only get the free software that lets you export up to 4K resolution videos, but also gives you many of the same features that you'll find in HitFilm and other video editors. In my experience, Shotcut has not only helped me to quickly improve my skill set over the past few months, but also has helped me to learn specific concepts such as keyframing, for example. And in terms of how it runs, it runs great on my computer with just a little bit of lag, and it thankfully has not crashed on me so far. So in terms of which one I'd be more likely to recommend to someone, I'm going to have to go with Shotcut. While both of these are great editing softwares, especially for someone who is new to the process and doesn't know where to start, Shotcut wins for being open source and for running just a little bit better on my computer than HitFilm did. Before I go, I want to thank you for watching the video, and if you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for some more movie and video editing content in the near future, and let me know in the comments what editing software you use and what your favorite thing about it is. And until next time, my name is Nick Leland, thank you for watching the video, and have a great day.